Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. When we upgraded to our LT70 wood miser, we also had to change our blades to something a lot bigger. So how much has this changed our resharpening process? Well, today we're going to find out. Without further ado, let's get into it. Today, we are here in Grandpa's workshop where he resharpens all of the blades for our sawmill. And we go through a lot of blades, especially with our new upgraded sawmill. We go through them more than ever, every two to three hours to be more precise. Whereas before, I could make a blade last a day. Not that that would happen all the time, but it definitely was not a rarity. Now, Grandpa is going to have a lot more work on his hands, keeping up with all of the saw blades that we go through. And we have to hear all about how these new saw blades that we have to use on the, our new sawmill affect his whole system. So we're going to bring him in here to talk a little bit about it. So let's bring him in. I don't really know where he got off to, probably playing with the plants in the greenhouse somewhere. I'll find him. Okay, we got uh, the new blades for the the new mill up there. They're a little different. They're quite a bit longer. They're inch and a half instead of inch and a quarter. So in or order to uh, run them through the, the any one of these machines, you got to turn them down, lower the blade in there. They're so much bigger. I had to put an extension on the back there because it created too tight of an oval and uh, it didn't go through here well. Other than that, the uh, configuration of the teeth is the same. Uh, so I'm gonna, this one's been set already. So I'll put it in the machine over here. Takes a little bit longer, but they're a little different to handle. So what, this control right here raises and lowers the bit in the, in the clamping block right here so I can raise and lower it. So I had to lower these considerably to get the, get the right height. Now I can go, I have quite a bit more room. I could do a lar larger bit than that, larger blade. Let me, uh, Pull this down and see where we're setting. Looks like it's hit and we'll run it out. Turn on. I may have to readjust that, but we'll see here as soon as it gets out here. Pretty good. 
It's a 747 configuration on the, on the teeth. So and that's what we were using on our other one. That'll cut. Okay, you can sit back and let it do its job. You can see here the difference in these blades. This is your, the old one, a seven and a quarter. You can see the size of it compared to, to this one. They're, they're considerably different. Um, as far as size, if I put this one inside, you can see how much bigger these are. So this is a, this will handle a, a lot bigger log and I'm sure that it'll, it'll make a nice cut. Of course we're running a diesel engine on that thing so there's a lot of, a lot of torque to run this big blade. You must have hit something. I'm curious how many more sharks we'll get out of these than those smaller blades, because those things get abused pretty hard. I believe those smaller ones will. Hopefully we'll get more. So there's another couple of tips. I don't know what is different about these ones, but. You really hit something with this blade. You might think you hit something on those two. A couple of spots. I might be able to get that out of there with a couple of sharpening somewhat. Yeah, you did. You hit something here. Another one. Be a good blade. There's a lot of them. I think I'm gonna run this again. See if I can cut some of that out of there. Just a little more. Get some of that out of there. I'm trying to think which direction I have to go first. Through, through this blade again, maybe twice. See if I can cut that tooth back just a little bit, and then I'll back it up the other way. I'm just gonna see if I can get that little blunt edge off. Something got hit, a nail or something. See if we can save it. Mm, very interesting. Thank you, Grandpa, for taking the time to do this video today. As for you guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Other than that, I hope that you enjoyed, and we'll see you back here next time. Bye.